with uh, Fitty in his room. So, uh, how do you feel about meeting Fitty today, bro? Feels great. Yeah? Yeah. Are you kind of nervous? You look nervous. So, and name uh, Fitty's first album. Get Rich or Die Trying. That was his first album? Oh, no. Uh, Power of the Dollar. Power of the what? Dollar. Okay. What is his second album? Get Rich or Die Trying. Third? Moscow. Fourth? Curtis. Huh? Curtis. Curtis? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite uh, song on Curtis? <laughs> it's okay. This is going to go on the website, bro. What's your favorite song from Curtis? Uh, I give money. Okay. Yeah. Um, this has been a dream of yours, right? Hell yeah. For a long time. Yeah. Fifty cent t-shirts. Yeah. The last time uh, he came down. Yeah. He I mean, almost... all the session couldn't interview him because I guess he was drunk. Or he almost made it. He almost made it, but you were that close. Made, yeah. Um, obviously, you're a, a big power because of the uh, the clothes that you're wearing. Yeah. Everything about you is a G unit today. Yeah, I mean t-shirts. Yeah. T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Um, any questions you'd like to ask him? Um, you gotta stay tuned. Yeah. Recording. Yeah. Uh, the new Power One Four Point Three Hawaii's number one for the most hip hop and hits. It's uh, Casey and Take in the morning. What's going on? We are here live with. Uh, 50 Cent, what's up, man? Oh, man, what's up? Everything's good, man. Happy to be out here, you know, I'm just trying to settle in. Mm -hmm. I just got in late last night. You're pretty comfortable now, yeah. would you say? Absolutely. Like, I feel like I've been through every part, yeah. portion of, of the process. Mm -hmm. Now, as an artist, right, uh, you know, when you don't have to worry so much about the financial thing, mm -hmm. uh, can, you, can you concentrate more on the creative side of things? Absolutely. I mean, I think that... Sometimes not having is, is a motivation to, because you can draw from it as a writer. You know, it's almost like being in relationships. Like it, you can take portions of yourself and write them in R&B records. Yeah. You know, some of the things you felt or just the description. And you know, for me, it, it's a lot easier mm -hmm. being in the financial space where you can, like, I can just decide I don't want to make music and just go home. You know, so if people don't. Receive it the way I expect it to, so I'm fine with that, and I just move forward and create new material that I think they'll actually enjoy. It's something special about what happens when you can take your ideas and make people worldwide. Now you, you've got uh, your crew here with you. Like we got uh, Tony Ayo. Yeah. What's up? Man? Uh, what's up, man? What's first going on with you, bro? First time in, man. Just was enjoying a little bit of that breeze. I'm How you doing, bro? What's up, man? You good. Lloyd Banks in the house. Any particular artists out there that uh, you guys would want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Well, me personally, you know, like right now we're in a phase where we actually finishing up to June deal it out collectively. Yeah. That project will be out. June, Can't wait for that. June 24th. But for my personal project, like my solo album, I um, had interest in working with Robbie Williams. Really, the British uh, yeah. singer? Yeah. Robbie, I think he's got his own sound, like he feels like, if we can find a, a, a ground, a common ground where I'm not compromising myself, mm -hmm. and he's not compromising his, and we create the right record, I think it'll be a cool collaboration. Now, what is it about a sound that you like? It's just totally different from everything else that, that we would consider uh, hot in existence out here right now. Is there a chance that uh, you could possibly write a song about Hawaii where you're here? You know what I mean? This is a yeah. <laughs> experience about it. Yeah, for sure can. Yeah. Hopefully it be about a lovely woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lovely Hawaiian woman. Doc is the expert at that. Uh, ask yeah. him about the women. He's easy. No, 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 no. Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, planning on working with M again? Yeah, well, M is working on his new album. You know, right now, a lot of people, he thought he was in a... Uh, Hospital? Yeah. Yeah. The bad state. He, he's, he's pretty good. Uh, okay. You know, they should expect to hear new material from him shortly. And be excited about it. Because M's always, he's managed to impact harder than me within those time periods. Give it to die, try and scan 12 million records. When they, you know, 
today and M's uh, M's record that in nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen million. Nineteen million. Right. Yeah. So a lot of times I actually use him. You know, like I'll listen to the material and use it and uh, figure out try to figure out what exactly is his connection, but it's him opening himself. You know, it's up to the public so they actually decide whether they enjoy it to or not. You've got uh, a role that you really want to play that's so different from me? You yeah, actually Michael A. Park. I played myself with Val Kilmer. Originally it was me and Robert De Niro. That's when me and Robert De Niro actually met. We uh, I went to his house in Manhattan. White, mm -hmm. you know, went to fire and rank a few times, yeah. and then film actually materialized. So I didn't get, I had a chance to work with him on a whole nother film project, yeah. which is uh, which is Kill. This is myself, Al Pacino, Robert Nero, Donnie Wahlberg, John Lazama, and that'll be out right before. Yeah, I'm excited about it, but um, my boy Park actually had yeah. an opportunity to play a police officer. Mm. Well, you think that's something different from you? That's... Well, that's far from my <laughs> first character, just the yeah. characteristics of the, the actual guy I'm playing. Mm -hmm. You're, you're doing a, a studying on that role? or? A... Well, yeah, preparing for it now. Yeah. I, I probably won't be shooting until May. You're going to be talking to police officers? Not talking to police officers, the, the developer. Kind of working with acting coaches. When someone teaches you how to act, is that a little different from you're usually uh, you know, used to? I mean, you're usually like. The guy takes charge of things, but uh, absolutely. Telling you what to do is it's a little different. That's why it's, you know it's a process for me that I'm enjoying. It yeah, on a different level because I'm I'm in the studio. Of course, I I'm the lead. Yeah, this one used to Tony is writing yeah. the book with the project like he created the chorus or whatever it is, and there's points where it thinks yeah, and then, like hit records that they can look forward to like Kitty Cat and yeah, No Days Off. Like they're gonna hear things from them that they actually created the book of it. But that's them coming into home initially. I would write the hook. I would write the the book yeah. of the actual work. And at this point, I think it's interesting for me to not actually be in control of everything yeah. that's there. You know, so when I actually go into the acting part, I might be over -prepared. When I do a role that you feel like, wow, like you sit there and you watch the film and you yeah. forget that you're watching 50 Cent, I'm really getting good. Right. I was in Connecticut when you shot yeah. the movie. They actually gave me key to the city. Yeah, Bridgeport. Yeah. Bridgeport. Connecticut, because you shot there, so I got a chance to go out and just to be on the set and meet the Nero and Pacinos, yeah. and just to sit on the set, a lot of artists and a lot of people on, uh, you know, I'm going to be around big stars like that, so I'm just open up and just sit, shut your mouth and just watch what's going on. That's basically <laughs> what I was on, you know? Yeah. What about you, man? You're, uh... Oh, that's incredible, man. I mean, yeah. They both around to this day to watch and they can be just snap into a whole other category. Um, you, you can actually find that out when this is what you got going right now. Yeah. You see what's going on. Yeah. I'm making yourself cry. I did it. Funeral. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.